Jamie Munguia triumphs in an epic 12-round battle against Sergei Derevyanchenko. In a highly anticipated boxing extravaganza, Mexican sensation Jamie Munguia faced off against Ukrainian powerhouse Sergei Derevyanchenko. The bout promised fireworks, with both fighters bringing their unique styles and skills into the ring. The bout took place at the Toyota Arena in Ontario, California, USA, on June 10, 2023. The bout was for the WBC Super Middleweight Division. Let us take a look at their records, undefeated former WBO light middleweight champion Jamie Munguia entered this fight with a perfect professional record of 41 wins, no defeats, and 33 knockouts. Meanwhile, his opponent, the former Olympian Sergei Derevyanchenko, has an official record of 14 wins, 4 defeats, and 10 knockouts. The bell rang, signaling the start of the fight, and both fighters wasted no time in showcasing their abilities. Munguia, known for his aggressive style, pushed forward, unleashing a barrage of punches. Derevyanchenko displayed excellent footwork and defensive maneuvers, skillfully evading many of Munguia's strikes while landing crisp counters of his own. Derevyanchenko clearly landed the cleaner power shots to have an edge against Munguia. As the fight progressed into the second round, Derevyanchenko showcased his technical prowess, landing accurate combinations and testing Munguia's chin. The second round followed a seemingly identical pattern, with Munguia unleashing a wild flurry and the quick Derevyanchenko sneaking in crisp and excellent counterpunches. In the third round, Derevyanchenko accelerated the action by charging forward and repeatedly snapping Munguia's head back a couple of times. Unleashing powerful combinations that gave Derevyanchenko the lead. With his jab and check left hook working so well from outside in the fourth, Munguia appeared to regain some momentum. Munguia continued his relentless assault, pounding Derevyanchenko with a combination of power shots. The Ukrainian displayed tremendous heart, absorbing the punches and retaliating with his own flurries. During frenzied flurries, both combatants hurt one another in the fifth round, but once again, Derevyanchenko was the one who landed the strikes that badly hurt Munguia. At the conclusion of the frame, both men were gassed, clearly, Munguia was beaten badly and almost got knocked down. Entering the sixth round, Munguia engaged Derevyanchenko at a distance and stopped his forward momentum by finishing the round with a powerful left hook. The Ukrainian, though visibly fatigued, fought back with incredible heart and skill. Both fighters traded blows until the bell rang, signifying the conclusion of another intense round. Entering the seventh round, both fighters unleashed a series of powerful hooks aiming to break down their opponent's defense. Although Derevyanchenko landed the heavier shots, a round that makes judges difficult to score.
In the 8th round, Meng Gia was the one who suffered the most from a headbutt. Derevyanchenko took advantage of this and landed clear powerful combinations to Meng Gia. Although Meng Gia threw some combinations most of them did not land. By round 9, Meng Gia had a worn out appearance and had stopped using the crazy combinations he had used earlier in the fight. Derevyanchenko landed some combinations and powerful jabs. To end the round, Derevyanchenko connected three powerful lefts. Again Derevyanchenko got the upper hand in this round. Derevyanchenko remained focused on securing the victory in the 10th round. He unleashed a torrent of punches, relentlessly targeting Meng Gia's head and body. The Mexican warrior fought back, demonstrating his resilience and landing effective counters. More crisps and powerful combinations were landed by Derevyanchenko. Meng Gia stunned Derevyanchenko with a right hand in the 11th round, he followed that up with a powerful body blow to the middle of the stomach. Although Derevyanchenko landed some combinations and looping right hand in the final seconds of the fight. Entering the final round, Meng Gia maintained his high work rate, refusing to let up. He showcased his conditioning and determination, landing powerful shots that visibly shook Derevyanchenko and caught him with a body shot that put Derevyanchenko to the canvas. Although survived the round but clearly beaten by Meng Gia. Judges favored Mungia and won by unanimous decision and now the new WBC super middleweight champion. Some critics say and mostly Derevyanchenko's supporters that he was robbed, so what do you think fight fans? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.